did one, and it's this one, this one guy, and then the song breaks, and then they all dance around. Don't play the music because I seen something on the news the other day where they were like underwater. Because somebody said Gabriel had one, somebody else had one, somebody else had a Harlem shake. Like the Miami, that Miami. So it's like right now, like you guys just like kind of doing this. Oh shit. This is the country going crazy about that. Yes. And now there's like a group of people like dressed up weird and doing nothing. But it was funny. There's you just kind of, why we play and we'll smoke fucking dope over it? How about that? You know, man, jump up and down and do fucking over We could do one. This is it. Yeah, let's do this to this shit. Oh, oh no, this is a different one. It's just, this is another group of it. But um, it's funny because there's a YouTube video of Harlem reacts to it. And apparently Harlem Shake is like this or something. Like, this, this is people, in Harlem, people in Harlem do it. How did you, did you do this? How did you come No, it's, someone posted it. But apparently it's like a dance they do. And they're, they're pissed in Harlem because it's like, it's like all these videos are a bunch of white kids just doing it in, in the offices and shit. So speaking of which, Dead Squad Harlem gotta get out there to fucking help Dominicano. <laughs> has gotta get out there and inflict some fucking pain. Don't be doing the Harlem Shuffle if you live in fucking the number block. You know? No, yeah, they get pissed. Let's some shout out to these concepts and good people this week here. The savages of East New York. You understand my man Garcia, the Puerto Ricans, the Mexican, whatever the fuck is up there. Raggio, Dead Squad, Toronto, D. Wiggles, J.R. Steiner selling shirts like a motherfucker on Joey Diaz, not net. For you people don't know, he's always going to charge your brother Steven's shirt, the Lester's shirt. Go to J.R. Designs. I don't know exactly what the fucking thing are, but he's on Twitter. He's a good man. He's my brother. I love that black motherfucker. Trevor Gamara, Alex Stone, The Bro with Swag, Jim Pitzinger, <clears throat> Stefan Slow, Alpha Mind Mike, and my man, uh, Mark and Charles, they came to the show in Braille last night, sitting there getting his D machine on. I love you guys. Thanks for coming to all my Orange County shows and support like a motherfucker, the Harlem Shuffle. I don't believe, I didn't know what it was. It's nothing. I don't fucking listen, but I, uh, I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm too busy listening to music. I listened to some shit today. That was one of the fun. Okay. Okay. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to start doing this because they control me. I want you to find Eric Clapton, Eyesight to the Blind. I want you to play that real quick. Eyesight to the Blind? Yeah. And quick, I want to give a shout out to uh, Al Vega. He was very nice to talk to me after the show. Al Vega's a good one. Yeah. So, uh, uh very weird thing is that okay. I was talking about the 70s having great music. If you get it back, people. I played the people like this in Washington, and that was nice and stuff. Doing homework for you people, telling you the funny stuff. I found this video, play it. Leah, it's Eric Clapton. I watched this movie as a kid. Listen to this shit. And you gotta watch it. What we're gonna do is, we're all gonna line up next week. And I'll tell you what, at the end of the podcast, we're gonna put this video on and play it and all watch this together and smoke dope. This is Eric Clapton in the fucking room. Mick Fleetwood in a church. Roger Daltrey. They're all drowned. This is crazy, this lady. What? Oh shit, Lee. Look at Lee's fucking... Talk about Joe Bullman. 